Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Salvation Elite. We are back with the video, guys. And today, man, we are talking about what Skump does to be so good at Call of Duty. And hopefully, we can take away a few things to make you a better Call of Duty player as well. So, obviously, there's so much that goes into being a good Call of Duty player. And Skump, of course, is a professional Call of Duty player. So, he's playing a lot of competitive Call of Duty. But at the same time, he hops into some pubs matches as well and absolutely fries. So, so today, we're actually going to focus on what he does in pubs that translates to all aspects of his game and how he plays Call of Duty, and specifically some of the things that makes him so good inside of gunfights and so much more. So without further ado, we're gonna be going through some of his gameplay and talking about some specific things that make him so good. So let's get right into it. Let's go. So we've got about, so we've got like four or five clips that we're going through today. So how we're gonna do it today is we're gonna watch the clip first and then pick apart some of the things that he does very, very well. So let's roll clip one. Holy shit. Oh my god. So there you go. There's a ton of small things in this clip that Skump does very well that allows him to get these kills. So first of all, after he finds the first pick, of course, that's pretty straightforward. He he runs into the doorway, what you're seeing here. He runs into the doorway and legitimately how much he runs into the doorway matters a lot. He runs into the doorway just enough to cover his back from the room he came from. So, of course, the doorway that he just killed a guy is a place where the opposing team could potentially come from in the next second or two. So he has to check this left side first, then he backs out to go again, check that doorway. Bouncing with that timing gives him the best chance to find more kills and the best chance in those gunfights to get the kills. So that was how he linked those first few kills together. So then when it comes to his two piece a few seconds later, you can kind of instinctually see his movement kick in there and how he immediately escapes the gunfight stim shots which of course is you know pubs 101 with the stim shots right now and then re challenging with the jump shot on both of them again after he gets that two piece you immediately see that he's going back to check the other room it's very instinctual for skump to link those movements together immediately so the second he gets that two piece he's immediately moving into the other room to guard his back and check both those doors for opposing players again. So overall that's clip one, but I think these just keep getting better and better as you go along. So let's head on to clip two. Clip two, we're in the same spot of the map basically, and you're gonna see some of the similar movements that he does in the first clip, but then we add a little bit more to it this time. So let's check it out. Thank you. I can't Thanks. I'm three and nine. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> that sounds normal for you Z. Holy. Oh, now there's two of them back there on. Yeah, they're holding hard. I'm holding the safe spot on B. We almost got it. So there you go. The movement there is really, really, really nice. That's the first thing I want to focus on. You can see how he bops and weaves through doors to make it just even tougher for opposing players to kill him. He slides across the bridge, finds that first kill with the jump shot. Then he chows because of the positioning on the map. And so what you can see there, if you look at the mini map, you can see that his teammate has pushed on that right side and kind of cleared that whole right side out. So Skump knows that the opposing team has to be to his left or pushing up the stairs right in front of him. So he uses his minimap awareness to give him the anticipation to push towards these players. And then he uses the movement and his gun skill to absolutely fry them and link those kills together. So like on that final kill with the pistol, it's really interesting how he aims and centers his gun when going into that gunfight because he leaves the gunfight when he sees the guy basically right below him and he's not exactly sure where he's going to be moving. But when he re -chows, he's actually pointing his pistol at the spot where the opposing player could most likely be or the spot where the opposing player would be most likely deadly to him when he's coming through the doorway. And that happens to be exactly where he is. And he absolutely fries him with the pistol mixed with the jump shot flying through the door. So again, in his mind, he sees it. He's anticipating that, okay, where's the most dangerous spot? Where's the spot that this player could be that would be at the biggest threat to me? And that's where he's aiming his pistol immediately off the rip. And again, he's played so much COD in his life that that's very instinctual to him. But for all of us out there, we've got to really practice that and be very aware of that in game to really work on our mental processing and our centering in those situations to maximize our chance to win a gunfight. So that's it for clip two. Let's move on to clip three. So here in clip three, he does a great job of working the spawn. And we're gonna talk more about the specifics of that, but let's watch the clip and you try to nitpick exactly what he's trying to do before we talk about it. Dude, oh, what the fuck? Okay. God damn it. Yeah, we might flip him or push way up. Oh. 
Oh, they're gonna... on B right now. Yeah. Kind of flipping, like they half flipped. Yeah, they just spawned on B. Got, got one off, got two off of B. Nice. Shit, GG. Uh, last one got me. I got the guy that got you, GGB. Okay. I'm needing the head glitch. Yeah, we... No! So there you go, another dominant clip from Scump. So I, what I really like about this one is how he positions himself to kind of maximize their team's map control and how they push for the spawn here. So he goes across that bridge and he sees his teammates kind of pushing across. So he's like, well, why, why would I follow them? I'm gonna jump off the bridge and push towards that right side of the map and see who's over there. And so he maximizes his team's reach his team's lines of sight, which again, gives them all the best chance to find more kills. And that's exactly what happens. Another thing that pros of course do so well is counting the kill feed. They're so aware of how many people are dying, where they're spawning and how long it's gonna take for them to get into an engagement with that player. He's processing that information, kind of calculating in his head, like how long it's going to take for a player to get into a gunfight, where they're going to be, and how many players he should expect in the spawn. And then of course, with the movement, you can see how he's repositioning himself to maximize his chance to kill players, to keep players off balance. And he uses the walls and the cover to, to give himself a chance to regen health and then slide out and reach out right at guys, surprising them in the spawn. And he peeks from different areas. He'll peek over the barrels. He'll peek from the wall. He'll watch, he'll play patiently. And he really balances and uses a different variety of pacing to really throw off the opposing players. So they never really know what to expect from a gunfight from him. Like that's especially obvious in that last kill where he just dips back and then jumps out and absolutely slays the kid on that right side. That's some elite stuff from Skump there. Uh, things you absolutely love to see. So let's roll the next clip. Same, same feelings. That thing is... Bro, when I use an MP5 on this map, I, I, like I average 60 kills. Like if I'm using an AR, when you have to slow down a little bit, dude, I only have like 23 right now. It's like... Yeah. It's night and day. For sure. Thing 60, is huh? OP. I just up. Come on, Big man. Time. Give me that. Give me that. B real quick. Try at least get it neutral. Snagging B right now with you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. There we go. Good work. I don't think I have one five. So that was a lengthier clip, but again, he's just seamlessly moving from doorway to doorway, playing the map in that way. And so I think what stands out the most is his centering with his movement. And so again, centering, if you haven't already, I highly recommend go checking out some of the other tips videos I've posted so far for Cold War. There's some good ones out there that cover a lot of these things, but centering is something that he does extremely well. Keeping the middle of his screen at the place where enemies are most likely to be and not lacklusteringly centering around like, areas but really specifically centering where those guys are most likely to be you can really see that with the doorways and how he's right on the edge of the doorways or when he goes up a ramp he's centering right where an opposing person's head might be those are all different ways that pros the sub the, the sublime things that pros do that make them so hard to kill in certain gunfights his movement again seamlessly from one kill to the next movement because that's so instinctual for him is to immediately relocate after getting one kill He's always on the move, and that makes him incredibly successful across the map. So heading to this last clip, again, trying to figure out what we're gonna be talking about here. I'm gonna show you it first, and then see if you notice it. Let's roll it. No way. Well, that was something. That was a fun chopper gonna ride. Across the catwalk into C. A GG. Hey boys. So there you go, the final clip. What I love about this one is how he uses the map to his advantage in guarding his back. And so right at the beginning of that clip, you see how he's aiming at the doorway. He gets that kill and immediately knows, okay, he positioned himself to be able to use the map to his advantage so he could immediately link kills together, get out of gunfights if he needs to. It's just overall really, really effective. And then at the end of the clip, you see in that gunfight in the doorway, he's very patient in that gunfight where in other gunfights, you know, he's sliding around the corner He's the aggressor, but in this situation, it was definitely best for him to be patient and wait for that player to potentially challenge. And that's exactly what happens. The other player ends up jump shotting, trying to chow Skump, which again, good luck. And uh, Skump's patience pays off and he finds the kill. So in that situation, again, I think it's important to be the one that plays patient because so many players are so willing to reach out in such a tough situation like that. 
Like he has the advantage. He doesn't need to push in any way. He has the advantage with the angles. And so he just waits for the player to pop out and he absolutely smokes them. And that's how it goes for him. So overall, I hope you guys learned something and improved a little bit in some way in Black Ops Cold War. There's a lot more videos coming like this down the road talking about how pros play and of course we talk a lot about competitive call of duty around here and gameplays on the gaming channel go check that out links down in the description like comment subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video all support means a lot to me i'm trying to do this full time and i cannot do that without you guys but as always guys i'm your boy self elite and we will see you next time i'm out